Hey YouTube, this is uh, SMC iPod Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your iPod Touch or iPhone into a jump drive. Um, so this will allow you to save files to your iPod and then plug in somewhere else and extract those files and use them. So um, what you're going to do, have to do is go into Cydia. So this will take just a little bit to load. Alright, so now once you're in Cydia, you're going to go into Manage Sources, and you're going to install the Be Your iPhone source. So if you already have this, you don't have to do it, but if you don't, you're going to hit Edit, Add, Repo, dot, Be Your iPhone, oops, messed up. be your iPhone dot com forward slash so it should look like that and you'll hit add source um, then you can go into search and you're gonna type USB that's good enough for now and scroll down and it'll be the last one it says USB drive from be your iPhone so you're, you'll click that and you'll in the top uh, corner you'll hit install and then you'll hit confirm. So you'll let that download. Then you can go back to your home page and find where that's saved. So mine's right on the bottom there. I'll open it up. Yours will automatically be on default. When it's in default, it won't do anything. So um, you can go into help and it kind of explains what the three modes do. You can choose drive plus iTunes, default, or drive only. Default doesn't do anything. It really is pointless. Um, drive plus iTunes makes this um, a USB jump drive thing, plus it'll sync with iTunes. Um, but this does say that it has some troubles with Windows. The drive only um, prevents you from being able to sync with iTunes. However, it's proven to work with um, Windows computers to um, transfer stuff. So I just went with the drive only because then if I ever want to sync, I can just go uh, change it back to default real quick. Um, but what you're going to want to do is do, let me delete this one. You're going to click create disk. And you can change the name. So I'll do um, for video. Alright, and I'll hit save. And then I can go and you can adjust how much you want or how big you want it to be and it says how much available space you have and stuff I'm just gonna make it small like through like 300 megabytes and then you can choose read only or um, workable so obviously you don't want to do read only that's just stupid um, you'll hit create and it'll take a couple couple seconds it'll just uh, create that disk for you Alright, so it's just finishing up there. So it's done and it shows up on here. Now I can go back to my home page and this is when you're going to want to plug your iPod into your computer using your USB connection. So you'll plug it in. You'll hear it'll beep for me. Oh, you would have also had to click which mode you want to do. So I had chosen the um, one that doesn't allow iTunes. Right away, it'll pop up with the folder, but I'll show you in my computer. Um, right there, you can see it says for video drive. It shows up as a drive on your computer. So I can click on that and drag files into here. So let me find a file and I'll drag it in there. All right, so I'll just transfer like a music file into it. So I'll take that, drag it into the four video drive transfer over and then to show that it works I guess I'll unplug the iPod you can hear it disconnected replug it in and it should automatically pop up with the folder or I'll open folder and there it shows the song there, I can double click it, it'll probably open up in iTunes for me.
So yeah, basically if you don't have a jump drive or if you just want to or if you carry your iPod with you everywhere and not really a jump drive and you want to uh, transfer a file to a different computer, um, this works easily. So I recommend this application. So um, please rate this five stars and comment. There you go. It popped up in iTunes for me. So know the you know that the file is real and stuff. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's a cool application. Please rate this video, comment in the bottom section, and please subscribe to my channel. It won't take you away from this page if you click that yellow button above my name. So please subscribe. Thanks for watching.